So here's a question. Can you fit motorcycle or scooter tires to an e-bike? Let's find out. So I wanted to find out, out of curiosity, if it was possible to fit motorcycle tires to an e-bike. And, and the reason I wanted to do that was because one of my customers in particular has done 8,000 miles in five months on their bike and they were basically going through tires like, like it was going out of fashion. So that's where the idea and the conversation came from about fitting motorcycle tires. And then that's what we did. We, we had a go and I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. So I didn't do a video showing how to install the tires. So it was more of an experiment. But as you can see, we've managed to fit some Michelin City Grip 2 scooter tires onto this 20 inch bike. Now these tires are 100 by 80 by R16. Now this is a 20 inch fat bike. There are a whole load of things to bear in mind with these tires. They are much heavier. They're about three kilograms each, give or take. So um, the bike has become six kilograms heavier. But some of the things that I noticed straight away, which are really cool, these tires are grippy as hell, um, especially in the wet. So um, that's a big advantage. They're also way quieter, much smoother. And I, I must say this bike handles like a treat, especially if the terrain is really slick. Maybe you're on the road or you're going over some of those painted markings that are on the road. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, Let's, uh, let's jump on the bike, let's go for a spin. Let's see what they look like, let's see how they feel. In terms of getting these installed and fitted onto the bike, I'm not gonna lie, it was challenging, really, really challenging. The tires themselves are incredibly rigid in comparison to an e-bike tire. So what we did was we left them in the sun for a couple of hours, we let them get really nice and warm and become a lot more supple. Washing up liquid, a lot of washing up liquid and some big woodworking clamps and zip ties around the tires just to help them get on. These are tubeless tires, but I am running them with an inner tube and that's inflated to about 15 PSI on the rear and about 10 PSI on the front. I gotta say, as far as experiments go, I'm really delighted with how this worked out. This is a 750 watt motor running on a 30 amp controller. So it's a very, very talky motor. It's got heavier gauge spokes. It, it's designed for more speed check the spoke tension regularly so that uh, we can keep that that correct and make sure that the wheel is is managing it okay but yeah I'm, I'm really excited with how it turned out if you want to have a go I guess you now know it it can be done um, I've got a lot more to learn we need to get some miles on this bike and, and figure out how things are going so I'm really hoping that uh, in a few weeks or a few months time we can come back we can do a follow-up video and we can see how this is going